Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today's tutorial, I'm going to be doing the uh, Easter Gnome that is part of the Gnome series that I will be doing throughout the year. Uh, so I started off with a mold number two um, mold from the uh, Happy Dotting Company and using UltraCal 30 to cast my stones, this is what I end up with. I paint it black on the bottom and I paint it white on the top and that's my primer and I usually paint that about a week after it has been demolded. I like to give the rocks as long as I can to cure because even though it might be dry to touch, the inside still has to dry and you got to think these things are about an inch thick. So definitely if you're doing your own molds and you're using the UltraCal 30, give it at least a week so that it dries. Um, so I, uh, I do a circle um, and then I painted on the background the pistachio mint. I also did another tutorial not too long ago with this color. I have to say, love it. I love this color. I'm not a green fan, but this was, I'm, I'm finding that I'm using it more and more and more. Um, it has great coverage. I love the color. It's green, but it's very soft and I really, really like it. So uh, that's my background. And then you saw me put the black I brought it up around to meet up with where the green stopped and that's where I drew with the circle with my compass and that way I know my borders. So then I sketch on my little gnome and he's an Easter Bunny so I'm sketching on his little ears right now. I'm using a General's Charcoal Pencil and this is um, a dark color so that I can see it better on lighter color backgrounds. Uh, I do have a white one as well that I use for the darker colors. And if you've been around for a while, you've seen me use both. Um, but if not, um, this is what I do. And uh, it works for me. Try it out. See if it works for you. Uh, if you are new to my channel, I do urge you to um, subscribe and uh, ring the bell so that you get a notification whenever I post something new. I do try to do about one a week. And I have lots of ideas that I want to bring to you. So the best way to be notified is to subscribe and hit the bell. So as I've been yapping, uh, I've been painting away and I used for his nose Flesh Tone by Delta. And I used one of those blending brushes that I purchased from Amazon. And uh, it just gives me a nice little like round nose shape kind of it looks kind of oval right now but I do go in and I do some blending or whatever and when I get his beard on there um, it will round out a little bit uh, and now I am painting his hat and his outfit with uh, Salem blue also from Delta and I really like this blue because it's like a, a pale blue I really wanted to go with Easter colors um, obviously I mean I'm doing the Easter Bunny gnome here and so I did the pistachio mint as the background and this blue really complemented. And I wanted something that would stand out from the background, but also to work with it. So that's why I chose this blue. It does dry a little bit lighter. Um, no, sorry, it dries a little bit darker. But when I go in and I do my shading and I do the light, um, light I guess light shading, um, it does lighten it up a bit and uh, it looks so cute in the finished product. So uh, stick around to the end of that because uh, it's well worth it. Unless you've already looked at the thumbnail and you already know what you're going to get, <laughs> then I get it. <laughs> um, but you'll miss everything else in between. So stick around. Uh, so now I'm just doing some pink into the bunny's ears. The color of this pink is hydrangea pink, also from Delta. Um, I find, uh, Delta has, well, at least w the stash that I have of Delta paint is, um, very, uh, soft tones and they work well together. And so I tend to use the same ones when I'm doing something, usually of the same, um, uh, company brand. Uh, however, each company brand has their, um, benefits and their 
um, not so good qualities, but still workable. Uh, so you just got to know your paints. Um, and each batch is different as well that I've been noticing. So I'm not saying anything bad about these paints. It's just learning how to work with them. Uh, sometimes um, I've been finding that the newer deco arts uh, paints that I've been purchasing are a little bit thick. So which is great for if you're going to be using them for acrylic pouring or dot work. But if you wanted to use them for acrylic painting like what I use them for, then just adding a little bit of water is all you need to do. Um, some other paints I find that my Apple Barrel, uh, now it is older paint, so this could be the reason why too, but my Apple Barrel paints are very watery. So um, what I do is I pour them into the tray and I let them dry for a little bit and it thickens them up so that I can use them again. So. Uh, just know uh, how to work with each paint um, and you'll you'll figure it out uh, pretty quickly and um, make everything work the way that you need it to. So um, now I'm using uh, white from DecoArt and I'm I did his ears and I gave him little rabbit feet because I thought it was so cute. Make him like it's he's wearing a East, an Easter costume or something like that. So um, and the way that I'm doing his beard is different than I have in the past. Uh, I really liked how it was sort of like uh, spiky, like it had a mind of its own type thing, just going wherever it wanted to go. Um, and I really wanted to have it sit over top of his arms, and that's why I painted his arms first. And now I'm just painting down... Uh, so that it goes in between his feet and basically hits the ground because every gnome I've ever seen has got a very long beard. So that's what uh, I really wanted to accomplish here. Um, so I, again, just using the uh, white paint from DecoArt uh, and just doing little wisps here and there. I wasn't too concerned about uh, it going over or under or whatever, like going too far because I am going to go in with black paint and outline it later. So I thought that this was, um, it was okay. And even if I have a few white um, pieces outside of the black, I was okay with that too. It's not meant to be perfect. I'm not a machine. This is my artwork and I wanted to share it with all of you. And I really hope that you uh, get something out of it and even try it on your own. If you do, I would love to see your finished product. Now I know that you can't post it here on YouTube in the comments below, but you can go to the description, which is where I list all of my uh, paint colors and the brand names that I've used in this tutorial. Um, I also list all of my social medias, so you can click on the links to go there. So you can go to my Facebook page and you can post it there um, in a comment. Uh, now it is a private group, so I did that on purpose because I really wanted it focused just on you guys. I didn't want other advertising or anything like that to be popped in the, into there. So um, you do have to uh, ask for a membership on it. I, uh, I usually am pretty okay with everybody that's in there, so... Uh, there's no worries there. Uh, it's just more for your safety um, and to uh, make sure that everything that's posted in there is relevant to why everybody is there. So that's what I did with that. So um, yeah, so check out the description below. I also have some really cool links in there for the Happy Dotting Company, UltraCal 30, which is the medium I use to make my stones. Um, any links to... Uh, Amazon where I've purchased any of my uh, my tools that you see me use um, all sorts of good stuff is is down there so please go and check it out um, and you'll find all sorts of really neat stuff so uh, as I was yapping yet again and going off track and not paying attention to what I'm doing um, I am uh, or I had put in some shadowing and some light aspects in his clothing and a and in his beard. So basically all I did was with the blue that I have, I added a little bit of um, black and the absolute most tiniest piece of black that I could put on there just to give me some uh, shadows. And then I added white to another blob of the blue 
so that I could get the light sources. And then in his beard, I wanted some gray, so it gave it some depth. So I used white and, again, the smallest amount of black that I could put in there and uh, mixed it up and used it for his beard and under his ears because they flop over so they would ca cast a shadow. So that's why I did that. Um, you'll see that his hands are the same color as his nose and I will be outlining them as well. And then there's a couple of things that I didn't show you and it was just because um, I wasn't paying attention and I hit the delete button for those pieces but I do uh, put a coat of um, sparkle uh, or white, what was it called? Glorious gold I used for the ring on the outside. And then over top of everything that was the gnome and the, the green, I put on some sparkle varnish just to give it a little bit more of glitter. Because you know me, I love the bling bling and I love the glitter. So it's either going to have one or the other or both. So this one just has the glitter on it. So I do do that at the end. Unfortunately, I deleted that clip, so I can't show you. Um, I've got to be a little bit more careful with that red button, I swear. <laughs> so I have made a mistake here. So I'm just using a cotton swab uh, with a little bit of water on it, and it just wipes right off, which is really nice with acrylic paint. Um, I found that with my black paint, it was a little bit thick, and it's because... I don't like to waste paint so I still had re uh, black paint in my tray and so I was using it well unfortunately it had started to dry and it became very thick and my lines weren't very smooth and I would get globs and that's what happened why I had to erase that mistake with the cotton swab and the best way to rem remedy this is just to add a little bit of water to it uh, or you could always pour out another bit of black into your tray so you have fresh paint out of the out of the bottle. Um, but aside from that, uh, that was my own um, my own mistake. I should have actually watered it down. Uh, and you don't have to do a lot; just a couple of drops. Mix it in, and you're good to go. Um, but I was too stubborn, and I wanted to keep going. So because <laughs> I was excited to see how this guy was gonna look like when he was finished. Um, so anyways, that's a, a mistake of mine that you can learn from a tip and trick type thing. Um, and then I gave him little black collar or cuffs on his shirt. Uh, I did make them a little bit too big, but eh, whatever. It's not meant to be perfect. I'm not a machine. So, and now I'm just outlining his little bunny paw there. Uh, I will do his other one. Uh, and I think it looks so cute that he's got these little bunny paws at the first feet. Um, it goes along with the ears that are sticking out of his hat and really makes him look uh, really Eastery. Um, so I was really excited about uh, doing this guy and I'm very, very happy with how he turned out. Uh, the I was worried about the way that I did his beard. Uh, I have to admit my favorite beard that I've done so far on these uh on the gnome series has been the one with the mustache and I believe that was my love one so the one I did for Valentine's Day um, go and check that out if you haven't seen it already um, I'll see if I can link uh, um, put a link sorry in the description below so that uh, you can click on it and go see it but it is one of my my favorites of the gnome series so far um, but I will continue doing them because I have so many things planned um, I've also been working in my Etsy shop, so if you haven't been in there lately, uh, definitely go check it out. Um, I still have a couple of uh, mystery boxes left, uh, and I've got some uh, new stuff that I've posted, and I'm going to be trying to get all of my inventory in there. So everything that I've done on YouTube and off. So make sure you go and you check that out. I'm also going to put in a starter package. So if you're interested in um, getting started with a starter kit, uh, I'm going to post something like that in there that's going to include a rock um, that I've casted myself, um, some a brush, uh, a few other things. So I'm thinking of doing a tutorial of using all of the things that would be in that kit so you know what you're going to get and what you can use it for. 
So uh, this guy's just about done. So I'm just going to put a few white dots on him and let him dry and give him a coat of resin. So remember folks, life is what you make it. So get creative. Mm -hmm.